Good Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on out there nationally right now. And the reason why I want to focus nationally is look at these temperatures all around the country. Everybody, for the most part, experiencing some very cold weather to start the day. We've got temperatures in the teens in some areas of the country. Uh, there are some 60s to be found if you head southwest uh, toward you know, like Las Vegas and places like that. But for the most part, the entire country is in the 30s and 40s. And if you look up even higher, we're going to turn off the uh, this MISO analysis real quick. If you look up even into Canada, there's temperatures in the single digits and even zero. And that's some cold air that's bottled up even up into the, uh, you know, up northern hemisphere. And we're going to see that uh, stay up there for now, but at some point that will seed back down our way. And when it does, we're going to see some really cold temperatures. The question is, is, is when's that going to happen? So let's get back in locally now. We'll turn this temperature feel back on. And you can see temperatures are very cold around the uh, region this morning. We've got 30 degrees in Salisbury, uh, 28s, 30s, even up into Boone, 23 degrees, 21 up toward Jefferson, uh, places like that. So Certainly uh, a very chilly start to the morning uh, for everybody. And we're going to warm up back into the mid 40s again today. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn this back off a minute and turn these temperatures off and kind of back back out for a second and take a look where the, uh, the lows are and, and the highs around the country because those are what are dominating us. So there you see high pressure in place for pretty much the entire East Coast, keeping everybody on the East Coast nice and dry over the next couple of days. We've got a low pressure system here, but this is a dry front that'll come through. It'll actually help gradually warm us up as we go through the next couple of days. And this is gonna be the one that starts to warm up for us. And then we've got high pressure in behind it to keep us dry even further. But then when you get out to the Pacific Northwest around Seattle, we've got our next uh, front that's coming through. And it's also going to be a warm front that'll continue to help elevate the temperatures. But as it does, it's going to bring rain along with it. So we've got a couple of warm fronts coming that are going to gradually increase the temperature as we go through the week. And we'll have more on that in the five-day forecast. We'll stay dry until this front right here gets to us. And that'll be late Saturday. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and head over and take a look at the um, temperatures around the county right now. And we're looking at 27 degrees in East Spencer, 31 out towards Salisbury, 29 in Cleveland, 31 China Grove, 32 down in Enochville. We've got uh, pretty much upper 20s to low 30s around the county, depending on your location. Weather impacts today, they are sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated. The greenhouse is open until December the 23rd. It's open from 8 to 5 Monday through Friday and 8 to 12 noon on Saturday. Head on out there, pick up your Christmas poinsettias or any other type of plants you'd like to utilize to decorate your home with around the holiday season. They've got some uh, fundraising going on as well. And there's more information on that if you head to the Rowan County Weather website. On the home page, you'll see this exact same Patterson Farm banner at the top of the page. Just click on that. It'll take you directly to their website where you can see all the details on the goings on with uh, being able to purchase your poinsettias, utilize the fundraising, different things like that. We'll see sunny skies during the day today. The winds will be out of the northwest at around 10 miles an hour. We'll see gusts up to around 20 miles per hour at times. And that's mainly because of the uh, front that came through yesterday that brought the rain with it. As it starts to pull away, uh, we'll see those winds become calm as we head into the evening hours with mostly clear skies. So uh, really a beautiful day on tap with the exception of the temperatures. That's going to be our issue for us today. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see sunny skies high of 46 degrees. We'll see mostly clear skies this evening as we drop down to 26. So even a little bit colder tonight and during the overnight than we were last night and into this morning. On Wednesday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 52 as we start to warm up. That's from that first warm front that we'll uh, see starting to make its way toward the area of the county. We'll see clear skies Wednesday evening with a low of 31. On Thursday, sunny skies, high of 60. Mostly clear skies Thursday evening with a low of 34. Friday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 60. 
mostly cloudy skies Friday evening with a low of 42. And then our uh, next warm front will be making its way into the area and into the county. And that's the one that can bring us the rain chances on Saturday. We'll see partly sunny skies during the day, high of 62 degrees. We'll see a 30% chance of isolated showers as we hit into Saturday evening with a low of 46. So we'll keep you updated on that. If you're looking for ways to visit local this holiday season, our friends at Your Rowan have all the details for you. You can visit their website by heading over to rowancountyweather.com on the forecast page. Right beside of the five-day forecast, you will see the visit local graphic. Just click on that graphic. It'll take you over to their website for all the details about any kind of events, festivals, sales, anything like that that might be going on that's holiday related around the county this holiday season. So remember to visit local with our friends at Your Rowan. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather anytime, you can visit us on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow us on social media, follow us and like us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you know someone who doesn't utilize social media or they don't have the internet, but they happen to have cable television, they can check us out on WSRG TV in Salisbury. That is on Hotwire Channel 394 and Spectrum Channel 16. And we'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Tuesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.